Hello, hello guys. Today we are apparently going to Niagara Falls after church, so... And as you might be able to see, it's actually very snowy out. And we're going a lot later, so it might be night, so... Always when we go to Niagara Falls, it's winter and it's night. So anyway, this should be pretty interesting. In the van, ready to go to a new church, new church for the first time. Because so we've been in and out of so many different churches because it's so hard to find a good one. But anyway, we're going to visit a church on our way to the new church and I got my mp3 player eventually so yeah we're now back from visiting the new church great sermon but toward the end dad actually accidentally squeezed the communion cup a little too much and it broke but thankfully it was the plastic disposable kind rather than the conventional glass ones but yeah it was pretty funny and some of the kids had trouble trying not to laugh out loud and <laughs> unfortunately quite a bit of the grape juice got stained on the carpet <laughs> so yeah that was unfortunate but pretty funny so yeah it's actually very nice out here I don't actually have gloves which I do not recommend going outside without gloves but I'm just gonna see what everyone's doing here we got old yellow you might know from full throttle Chevy and he's actually right here in the garage <laughs> I don't know what this video is about, but... It's a vlog. Oh, so, um... Subscribe, comment, and like this! Want to give us a tour of the creative thinker extraction room? It's kind of messy right now, and we do spring cleaning, although it's winter. This is where we do a freckled face carrot top video. Yes, yeah, so this is the focal light in the background. This is the backdrop of the bow. Anyway. <laughs> Oh. Um, my end. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Day four. So, hey, this is actually a couple days after. I don't know how many, but... It's a couple days after what you previously saw. And it turns out we're not actually going to Niagara Falls. <laughs> Early tomorrow morning, we're actually going to take off for Albany to visit with some family. So, yeah, that should be just as fun, if not more. So, yeah. No Niagara Falls, but we're going to Albany, which is about four hours from where we are now. It's going to be a road trip. And my batteries are not going to last, but hopefully I'll get some good footage. See you there. So I'm actually going to run to Dollar General to get an extra pair of batteries because these batteries do not last long at all. So yeah, I'm going to get an extra pair of batteries. There's Dean's truck, his illustrious truck. And by the way, Dean is my brother. He's known as Full Throttle Chevy on YouTube. So yeah, in the van. Ready to go to Dollar General for batteries with my sister Naomi. Hey. <laughs> Check out Freckled Face Carrot Top, it'll be in the description. Also, Full Throttle Chevy. You can see the. Uh, well, you can't see it, but the truck is over there. I just showed it to you. And sorry, I'm very repetitive, but tomorrow, very early in the morning, we're taking off to go back to our hometown in the Albany area. So I'm gonna buy some extra batteries. Alright, we're now at Dollar General. And I forgot to mention, uh, the reason Naomi came was because she's. Something to do with 4 H. I'm doing uh, like an agricultural reading at the local school. So we have to go to the 4 H building, pick up something, a book. The, something. Yeah, the book and the packet. Anyway, batteries. I don't want to film in the store because, I don't know, it's just weird. 2,000 years later. Oh, well, there we go. Got my rechargeable batteries. Actually, got two pairs of them. I mean, two pairs of two. You see what I mean? I got two of these. And then, shamefully, I got a bunch of Pringles too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's a terrible ditch down right here. I'm gonna go for it, but I feel like you're gonna like pull something off the bottom of the car. Anyway, now we're on our way to uh, whatever that place is called. Yeah, actually, what is it called? I don't know it, but see you there. Uh, this place is only 15 miles per hour, and I'm already going 20, okay, I better slow down. His mom said there's a lot of cops over here, so I gotta be careful, but this is a nice incline. Look at that old rusty rail. Oh, come on, I can't go 15 up this. <laughs> this old rust bucket won't make it. Okay, here we go, this is the place. With some difficulty, we finally found the building. We should have been just following the 4-H signs all along, but... <laughs> anyway, we found it. I don't want to waste too much memory because obviously there's a lot ahead, so... See ya. 
Now, that being said, I'm actually gonna waste a little more time here because I'm very curious as to what pizza flavored Pringles taste like. I've never had these before. I've always had either original or cheddar cheese. Definitely tastes like something interesting, but it does not taste like pizza. What kind of pizza do these people eat? This is weird. It tastes like somebody accidentally dumped the whole caster pepper on their pizza. It's very interesting and definitely good, but it doesn't taste like pizza at all. So, on a scale of one and nine, an eight and a half. I'm kidding. So weird. All right, she's back now. Hey, ever tried a pizza Pringle? <laughs> no, I've only tried the original ones. Me too. And these, I'm gonna have to say they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line, they don't taste like pizza, but they're good. They're good. They are good. Anyway, want one? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try that. They're too big to fit in your mouth. They're definitely interesting, but... I mean, they're okay. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't taste like pizza. That's what got me, but... Yeah, anyway. something, it's just a different flavor it tastes like. It's different. Anyway, let's get going. So watch this crazy road. I mean, it's nothing compared to that other road that I've been on, but it's pretty interesting. Pretty rough, but definitely nowhere near as rough. That other road. <laughs> yeah, that other road. We made it home. Of course. And now I'm gonna shut up and stop wasting memory. I should have got a new memory card too. You know what I really think about vultures? These things really need an extra eraser. But hey, as Martin Garrix Jr. once said, happiness killed the cat. Or something like that.